Hey everyone, welcome to Jot Form. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to be creating a form with a really simple integration into Google Sheets, so that way multiple people can have access to a live document as people are filling out the form, and different people can use different aspects of this integration in order to make the end experience easier. So if you want to see how to integrate Google Sheets with your Jot Form, stick around. All right, so we are officially in the dashboard. So let's go up to the top left for that green button for create a form. Now there's some options here. We can either start from scratch, we can use a template, or if we have a form that someone else has used, maybe a leader or maybe someone else on your team has used and you have that website, you can use the import form. For today, let's go ahead, let's take a peek at some templates first. So for this one, I am wanting to create an event registration form for an event that we're having in the summer. So I am gonna come over here where it says event registration forms. And let's scroll through and see if any of them match closely to what I am looking for. I think this respond to an event now will work great. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose use template. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this at the top from RSVP to event registration. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this to highlight. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top and change the name of the form as well. All right, so we have their full name, which I definitely want. I want their email, I want their phone number. Um, I don't need to know how many people are attending but I do want to know which level they are in the company. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that and let me edit the options as well. All right, that looks good. Um, and then for these last two, I am gonna want them to fill something in for me. And this looks like the long text box. So if you want something shorter, you can use the short text. This is fine for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as a long text. And I want to know what name do they want on their name badge. Okay, and then same thing down here. I want to know what their favorite snack food is. So that way the person who is over food, they can take a peek at that and they can see what snacks we need to make sure to have for the entire team. All right, for the submit button, let's go ahead and click on the submit button and then the little gear for properties. Let's just change how this looks. So the button style, I love the light gray. And then I'm gonna come back up to the top and then the form designer, let's change what the background looks like. So the form color is going to be this main piece right here. It is white, but I wanna change this, this background because right now it looks like to be like a light gray. I want it to be more of a, kind of like a lilac. So we will do that. Looks good. And we will save now. Let's go up and let's get this integration started. So we're gonna go up to settings and then integrations. And if you don't see Google Sheets at the top, you can always just search for Google. And right here we have Google Sheets. Now, this integration right here, it says it's gonna add form data to your spreadsheets, automate your workflow and cut out the manual data entry. My favorite thing about this is because if we have multiple people working on the same project, everyone can see everyone's responses. So the first thing we need to do is we need to authenticate and we need to choose which email you're going to use. You do need a Gmail. So I'm going to choose my top one. And then we need to allow, this is going to allow JotForm to see your Google Sheets and to you know see, edit, create, and delete spreadsheets in your Google Drive. So we'll do allow. Now we can either create a brand new spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to do, but if you have already created a spreadsheet, you can choose use an existing spreadsheet and you can find it that way. So if you click on use existing spreadsheet, it's gonna give you the option to select spreadsheets that you already have created. But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create a brand new spreadsheet. And it's gonna give me some suggestions, right? The spreadsheet name, the worksheet name, form responses is good. So the spreadsheet name is gonna be the overall 
spreadsheet. And then right here where it says worksheet name, within a spreadsheet you can have different tabs at the bottom. So we could have a note, we could create another tab after we're done with like completed or something like that. Um, so for this one, it's going to be called form responses. And then from here we can choose which pieces of data we want to be pulled into Google Sheets. We can leave it selected all if you want everything. We can unselect all and we can choose which ones we want. I want select all. And then if you want to include the IP or the edit link, you can do that. But I think this is good. And yes, we want to send existing submissions to that sheet. So let's click save. And from here, it's going to give me the link to that spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click here so it opens up so we can see what it looks like. And there we go. You can see we have the spreadsheet titled event registration. And then down here at the bottom, the worksheet again is called form responses. And every single piece that we were asking for, it went ahead and it created a header level. And one thing that I love about this is it went ahead and it froze that top row. So that means you can scroll, you can see my numbers increasing over here, I can scroll and I'm never going to lose that top row because it is frozen there. So every time someone submits a form, their information is going to end up here. So let me go back. Let's go back to JotForm. We'll finish. Now we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the publish button. I'm gonna grab this uh, link. I'm gonna open it up, fill it out, and then I'll show you what that looks like. All right, I started typing in my name and it automatically populated some of the things for me. Um, so for level, I'm going to go ahead and choose upper level, and I just want Kimberly on my name badge, and my favorite snack is hot Cheetos. Then I'll submit. Submission has been received. So now let's click over to our event registration, and there we go. We have the date and time that I submitted that form, my name, my email, phone number, my level, the name I want on my badge, and my favorite snack. So from here, something else that we can do is up here under the share option, we can either add people through their email. So if you know their email, you can type their email here and you can choose done. Or what I like to do is I love the link option. So for here, down here, it says restricted. Only people added can open this link. I want anyone that I send the link to to be able to view it. So I'm gonna change it right here. Change to anyone with the link. Here's the link, I can copy it. And we're all in a group message together so I can say, hey guys, here is the event registration form. You know, Teresa, take a look at their name badges so you can make the name badges. And Amanda, make sure you look at the snacks column so you can prepare to have the, the right amount of snacks for everyone. Now, one thing else that you wanna take into consideration is right here, it says anyone with the link, viewer. You can edit this to have someone be a commenter or an editor. As the spreadsheet owner, I would leave it as viewer or commenter. If you put someone as editor and they go in and they make changes, you could lose the original data. So just leave it as either viewer or commenter. And then that is pretty much it. So before I finish this up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna make sure all of these are marked as required because I wanna make sure that I definitely get all of that information. Uh, I don't want to be missing anything from anyone. And then we are going to be good to go. We can send out that form and we can start collecting our event registration. So if you guys have any questions about integrating your Jot form with Google Sheets, just drop it down below in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.